So the approach we have so far actually implementing is the one that takes equally. Uh, we can actually choose the size of the grid from which to sample points, and then we use just depth. We don't even use x and y. Uh, the real uh, value or the real weight of the face, we just put it on a uh, grid. That's uh, that's that's what we have in the original image. Now that was one approach that we could have. Another approach would be to find parts of the face, which would be possible if we already have a segmentation, we can align faces, uh, we probably know what the nose is. And based on the nose, we can find the eyes, and then we can find like the mouth, the bottom of the mouth, sides of the mouth, it should be easy to find, uh, the chin, uh, I don't know, some places on the plus plus forehead is pretty flat and not very interesting. But the, the thing we then want to perhaps do is to measure distances, okay? so. That makes, that makes a lot of sense. All of a sudden we also have a, uh, a sorted list, not a bag of distances, but an actual sorted uh, list of distances uh, based on the uh, things that they measure. But then the question is, of course, what are those distances? What do we actually measure? Uh, do we measure the Euclidean distance? And of course, in, uh, we have all kinds of distances in 3D, depending on the problem. You have different people calculating different ways to, and estimating distances. Uh, in the case of inside a surface and outside a surface, the Euclidean distance in 3D space means something else. And, and we can then say, well, we, we obviously want to look at the closed shape and to find out the distances between things. Uh, so one thing we could show is the comparison between the existing PCA approach that we have to a purely Euclidean approach that takes the distances and then show it's good, doing something reasonable. We give it a PCA and it can distinguish between the faces. Uh, but then we can show the GMDS approach which takes the, the geodesic, uh, hopefully we can reuse some code as well to, to do so. Uh, and then show that this actually gives better results when we put it, if it into PCA or GPCA or whatever you want to call it. Uh, and get better results and should be, I suppose, publishable work if that actually does work the way it's intended to.